This is Hydrogen Tap 1, Series 3. What we're doing here in Series 3 is separating the hydrogen and oxygen. I've tried to come up with a method in which we can separate the two properties while still making and using hydrogen with straight tap water. In order to do that, we have to keep the plates together. In most processes, the plates have to be put further apart. That's why they have to use electrolytes. What you're looking here is a screen mesh. This is just a test system. What we have is the water on the outside, and we've emerged the actual separator on the end. As you can see on the bottom, we have the plates, and we're going to start it. The hydrogen is going to go up through the screen mesh. We've turned on the unit, and you'll see the hydrogen going up there. Since the bubbles on the hydrogen are very, very small, and the bubbles on the oxygen are much larger, the screen mesh in between separates them. Very simple. By doing this, what you're looking at at the top is pure hydrogen. You can see how much, with this test, hydrogen is being produced as opposed to the amount of oxygen that's being produced. Most of that cloudiness you see there is the hydrogen bubbles, which will eventually go right through the mesh and release the hydrogen on the top. If you look very closely, you're going to see the bubbles that are oxygen there along the yellow. In a few minutes, you'll, you'll get a better view of it. But as more and more bubbles surface there on the side of the screen mesh, since they can't go through it, they eventually will come through those black tubes and out the side. What you're looking at there is the top where the hydrogen's coming out. There's a better view. If you look in the center of the picture, you'll see the bubbles getting bigger and bigger. Those are the oxygen bubbles as they collide and form one. Eventually, they'll come down and hit those black tubes and escape out. This method of separating the two is very, very simple to do. That is a wire mesh screen I'm using there. In a minute, you're going to see a black screen that's made of fiberglass that is used on screen doors. The fiberglass is most probably the best way to do it. As you can see there, there's a good view of the bubbles. That's the oxygen bubbles that are being trapped along the side. Eventually, they're going to get bigger and hit those black hoses and escape out that side. You can see more of those oxygen bubbles clinging to the screen mesh on the bottom. The mesh is pulled down in a droplet form so that the bubbles, when they hit it, eventually ride up around the side. If you made that mesh flat, what happens? The bubbles get trapped on the bottom of the screen, keeping the hydrogen bubbles away. By making some sort of slant or hill there, or curve, the oxygen bubbles eventually work their way away from the screen mesh. There's another view of the top of the bubbles coming up. Even though those are big bubbles you see there, they're actually hydrogen bubbles that have managed to clump together and form bigger bubbles. You can see the oxygen bubbles trapped on the bottom. Eventually, they'll skate their way up.
There's a good view of the plates. There's only two plates there. And this is just tap water. If we put more plates down there, obviously we'd get more bubbles coming up. This is just a demonstration to show this new method of separating hydrogen and oxygen. Using this method, and I'm going to show you a couple of other ways of doing it with this method. We can create pure hydrogen for the rest of our tests. That is what this is for. By using pure hydrogen, we can run it directly into the intake valve of the engine. Since that is a proven method, all we there have to do is create more hydrogen. Here's another piece of equipment I created using this system. As you can see, that is the screen mesh from a screen door. It's actually fiberglass, and you see how it curves up. The hydrogen gets goes through directly from the bottom, and the oxygen moves up towards that metal valve. Here's another system where we have the screen mesh on the top. As you can see, on the left side of that would be the hydrogen generating system, which would be the plates. There's many things we can do with this type system to create hydrogen.